Hey there, my name is Elizabeth and I am the designer, teacher and maker here in EBITDA studio, my home in Cambridge, Ontario. So here's a quick update. There's been a lot of exciting things happening that I'm really happy about. So I'm just gonna share those with you. Uh, the first thing is some of you might remember if you've seen some of my other videos, I was working on these shape samplers for um, Christmas and I had some sneak peeks of these blocks that I did in a bigger size and they were for a collaboration that I did with Andy Stanfield from True Blue Quilts. So there's her channel, be sure to check that out. Um, anyways, I embroidered the blocks, I sent them to her and she used those blocks in a big quilt. And so it's super fun to see. So be sure to go over and check out the quilt that we did together as a collaboration. And she has a full pattern and ideas for how to use um, embroidery in white space in a quilt and um, how to quilt around embroidery. So that was really fun. I really enjoyed doing that. So be sure to check out um, Annie and see that. The other thing that I'm also really excited about and this also has to do with Christmas is that the 2023 Christmas Stitch Along has officially launched. This is the first week. So for people that have joined the Stitch Along, they've gotten their first pattern and week one was snowflakes. So everybody got this snowflake pattern and they can make this little ornament with it. And then for people that have joined the Stitch Along next week, then they're gonna get another pattern. Here's a little sneak peek. Next week is gonna be wreaths. And the wreaths are a nice pattern because you can do them as is in green or Christmassy colors, or you can do them in whatever colors you want. And they're fun because you can embellish them with a name or an initial or a word. You can really customize these to fit what you want. So if you are not a member of the 2023 Stitch Along, you can still get these patterns, but you have to get them individually. So you can check my shop and see the patterns. Um, if you are on my email list, then you do get a discount code in the first week of release. So sign up for my email list if you think you might be interested because then you can get a discount on that. Um, but this is really um, fun. I've been working toward this for the whole year and I'm really happy with the ornaments turned out and hopefully people are having fun stitching these ornaments, um, maybe trying embroidery for the first time or getting back into it after many years. These are great projects because they are small. So you can do it in just a few hours. Um, it's portable, you can take it with you when you go to whatever, swimming lessons, music lessons, anytime you have to sit around and wait for somebody, this is a good thing to work on. Um, so, be sure to be watching for more of these because there's gonna be a new ornament pattern every week from now up until Christmas. So there's a lot of uh, new things coming up. The biggest thing that I am super, super excited about is I'm actually going on a trip and this is a trip I've been looking forward to for many years. Uh, back at the end of 2019, I had my husband and I had been planning on going on a trip back to South Korea, which um, for those of you who have heard my story, you know that we lived in South Korea years ago when our kids were really young. It was a great experience. Um, there was a lot of really good things happened, but we were planning to go back in 2019. And then right at the last minute, the trip had to be canceled, but we thought, oh, that's not that big of a deal. We can go back in 2020. And of course, you know what happened. Um, nobody went anywhere in 2020. And um, and so this trip has been put off and put off. And so I am going back and I'm really excited because I'm gonna be also participating in the Korea textile tour. And so this is with my um, my online friend, Young Min Lee from the Bay Area in the US. I've never met her in person, but I'm really happy to be meeting up and to be participating on this tour. So it's gonna be going back to a country that means a lot to me and meeting up with uh, young men and other uh, people who love textiles and all things with fabric and thread and sewing. So I think the tour is gonna to be really fun. And then at the end of the tour, my husband's flying over and then we're gonna do a more personal tour of Korea. So I did 
finally pick up the latest issue of Threads Magazine. And this one is special because there's a whole feature on young man Lee in here. And so she talks about Bojangi and her story. Um, there's a whole six pages about it. It has um, some more uh, cultural information, it has tutorials for how to do the seam. So if you wanna learn about traditional um, hand-stitched Bojangi, I have a couple tutorials but Yang Min is the expert culturally, so be sure to check her out. I will link to her um, channel below. And if you're interested in following along and seeing what kinds of things I'm doing on my trip, then I will be doing a recap video, but you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. So Instagram, it's elizabeth.ebitastudio. And then you'll be able to follow me in real time and see um, the fun things that we're doing and what I'm seeing and learning. So I'm really excited about that. And of course, because I'm traveling, I do need a portable stitching project. And so um, in last June, when I went to Quilt Canada, I took a class on Sashko and I really enjoyed Sashko is just really relaxing and it, it's a really great portable stitching, especially for stitching on a plane because there's, you don't need a hoop. Um, you don't even really need scissors because your thread's already cut to length. And so I have this piece I'm gonna be working on. And this is actually a pattern that I got from the green wrapper on YouTube, who is somebody who I follow and I love seeing her stitching projects. So I will also link to this because this is a um, project that I just totally copied from her. It's gonna be a little towel. And so I have done all the marking and I have all my threads cut to length. And so really this is all that I'm gonna need for stitching on the plane. So. This is a really good airplane stitching project because there's not little pieces to lose. I don't need a lot of tools and equipment. So as I was getting this ready, then I began to think, oh, what if this isn't enough to keep me busy? Or what if I want more things? So I expanded this um, idea and I got some plain white tea towels. And these were tea towels that I had already purchased, planning on using them for embroidery. And so I just marked on the edge of them, little bands, and I marked um, Sashiko designs so that when they're stitched, it'll just have a little row of embroidery and embellishment along the edge. So I have four of them that I've marked with different patterns. Um, so I do have a lot of things to keep me busy. Uh, these I'm planning on stitching just with some old balls of pearl cotton that I've had. And of course, my one um, trick for stitching on a plane, I do have my little um, cutter necklace. So this is a necklace that I wear and it has um, little cutters inside it. So it's not scissors, it's not anything dangerous, but it can trim threads and cut threads if you're stitching on a plane. So this is the perfect thing because you don't need to worry about taking scissors through security. It's not a problem at all. So when I'm done my trip, I am going to do a little recap and share what I've done, but you can follow along on Instagram to see in real time what I'm doing. I'm really excited and happy about that. So there's a pile of links below with information about all these things that you can check out. And of course, on my channel, I have lots of tutorials for quilting, pojogging, and embroidery. So thanks so much for listening and following, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.